Hello everybody, welcome to Limpo. Uh, Limpo is a psychological horror game inspired by Finnish mythology in which you play as Paul, your casual 9 to 5 guy, lost in a forest after his day of work. Happens, right? You can uncover stories of people who were trapped in Metsen Pieto, I believe is the name, before and make use of what little items you come by to find out what's happening in this eerie place and go back to your peaceful life before this malevolent forest consumes you. I uh, hope you enjoy. It's a free demo right now on Steam. So check it out and let's play a horror game. Yeah, I'm starting a new game. Lempo. The evil principal, offspring of demons, same as Hisi in Piru. Under a love spell, men run and follow, to a maze where love and men turn hollow. Only a few can escape, others fade away. Good rhyming, I think. Have you ever got lost in the woods? Even for a while. Like, at first you're in a place where you've been a hundred times. You know where you're coming from and you know where you're heading. You can't even imagine getting lost in here. It doesn't even cross your mind. But then you see something interesting like a cute animal or a good mushroom spot. And you take a couple steps off the path. You take a photo or pick up the mushrooms, and when you turn back, everything looks different. Your heart skips a beat. What if you can't find your way back to the right path? Of course, this usually lasts only a minute, and you're back on track in no time. But sometimes it can take a while, and sometimes you get truly lost. That's when you call someone and they send rescue people to get you. What if they can't find you? What if you are so lost, it's impossible for them to find you? Do you believe in fantasy worlds? I didn't either, until I found myself in one. That was a thing. Okay, we're loading, I suppose. The night started out as any night. I was the last to leave the office. Oh, all right, here we go. We're in an office. I guess I'm leaving work. Right now, the mouse sensitivity is a little bit low. Let's see if we can change that here. Yeah, let's try that. Fly and save. That's a little bit better. Sure, why not? Alright, do I have any work to do still? Uh, it's kind of a cool pen cup holder. Maybe it's time to leave. Let's press Q to toggle UI elements. You can see your health and current objectives. Oh, gotcha. Close down the office before leaving. I am very glad I know that process. What a week. A black cup with a picture of a pear on it. Not much to it. Okay. Well, uh... I can pick these things up for some reason. I don't know what that is yet. Huh. A textbook example of someone else's problem. Okay. <laughs> That's fair, Paul. And we've got a fridge. Nothing too exciting. 
don't think I'm going to be closing down the office that way. Uh, paperwork. Is that, is that chair vibrating? Should I be worried about that? You know what? We're going to move on. That chair will close down itself, right? Um, anything in here? That's a door. Hmm. Sliding door with a handle. Why? Why was that a sound? What? What was... What? Did something happen? Did I miss it? We played Dark Souls and Little Nightmares. Okay. Oh. I just <laughs> closed myself in. Good job. Alright. So... Oh. Oh. Hello. Toy dog with the name Elizabeth written on the bottom. And I took it. Sure. Uh, we're outside. Boy, my office is in the middle of nowhere. What is that? What's that? I just asked that. Press four to take out your lighter. It is an infinite light source. Sure. Why does my lighter have the number five on it? There's... Whoa, indeed. So there's a sprint button. I can also jump and crouch. All right. I guess I'm following you. Do you want a puppy? And just okay. like that, I was lost. Eating a mushroom will give you a little bit of help. I'll add it to inventory. Wait, does that mean I can't go back? Oh, good. Ah, uh, intro. Uh, we're going to pick some shrooms while we're here. I see light over there. Let's go that way. It really bugged me that I couldn't find the office. I was certain I hadn't wandered that far. And the forest around me didn't seem familiar at all. I feel like it's resisting the dark I forces of the forest. I started to realize that I wasn't just simply lost. I was in a whole other place. So my... I guess my vitality is going down? Because I'm in the forest and I'm kind of lost. Maybe it's something I have to continually replenish, but... Um, I Yeah, anyways, I should be more worried about this little wisp thing I'm following. Well, I just hold stroller. How? Well, I'm assuming Elijah is... Your son? You can browse items if I push I. Let's go ahead and do that. I got a couple of mushrooms. Uh, I have a battery, apparently. All right. Do I have a sprint meter? Ooh, what is that thing? Soul residue. I have one soul residue. Okay. Do I ever... There's a phone ringing. Uh, oh, no. Keep that lit. So my vitality is, is kind of going down here. What the hell is that thing? Use three soul residue as fuel. Okay, so I have to light that in order to save. Ah, well, that was quick. You know me too well, game. And I stopped getting tired, the and I can... Was comforting. It was hard to continue, but I knew I had to. That's my save points. Got it. Alright, uh, where did that wisp thing go? Do I need to follow these lights? 
I start getting tired again. Oh, hello. Here we go. Now we're up to four. You came, yippee. My name is Elizabeth. The old man who lived here never played with me. May you play? Let's go hide and seek. I had first. Find me. Alright, Elizabeth. Uh, well, you took off. I'm gonna go up here. I swear the light only made some twinkling noise, but somehow I understood it perfectly. You should be worried. You're okay, Paul. Someone live here? The cabin. Hmm. Uh, Z or mouse button to zoom in. It can be helpful when handling small items. Uh, paper of random words I found from the cabin. Noses, right fingers, eyes. Which I assume has something to do with this here. Uh, there's no suitable key in inventory. I have a feeling the key is inside of this box. So, noses, right fingers, and eyes, right? Maybe I have to count something. Interesting. So let's uh, try the zoom in thing. So you have one nose. Oh. <laughs> Did I inadvertently just solve that? Uh, one nose. One right... F well, technically five right fingers, but I don't know. I solved it, I guess. Metal key for the cabin near the small pond. Take. Alright, cabin. I would like to unlock. Cabin door has been unlocked. Whoa. Sleep here. Uh, heals you, but makes you more vulnerable to Lempo's power. You'll lose a little bit of max vitality. Interesting. All right. Uh, shining hands of Ilmatar are a mark of a protected place. It's kind of creaky in here. That's for sure. All right. We have a note. I shall read the note. An elderly wanderer came and knocked at the door last night. His jaw was covered by a large white beard and his eyes by the hood of his cape. He smelled like conifers, liquor, and honey, and didn't speak much. I offer you my mother's protection. After that, he pushed me aside and stepped in and waved his hand a few times next to a wall, chanting words that made no sense to me. I thought he might be on drugs, so I didn't try to stop him. Those people can do anything if provoked. After maybe a minute, he was done and left without a word. This morning, a glowing picture had appeared on the wall. This only adds to the strange things happening here, but the encounter with the man somehow made me feel safe. Okay. I don't think I'm going to sleep yet. I will take this battery for whatever that is used for. And I have another note. It seems that someone has lived here for quite some time. Time of the day doesn't seem to change here. I've decided to start counting my sleeps. I don't know how many times I've slept before I started counting. Maybe nine. It's now sleep two officially. Sleep three. I met a man. He doesn't talk much, but seems to have been here a long time. I gathered that he was once a sailor of some kind. At first I was happy to see someone, but he can't help me. He said there's only one way out. Wouldn't say what it is. He had a nice dog. Asleep four. The damn dog stole my compass. The sailor didn't care when I told him. Fortunately, this place is so small I can quite easily find my way around without it. Stupid dog. Alright. Uh, well, it's kind of dark in here. So I assume I'm losing my sanity. Is that all I need the cabin for? You know what? Actually, I'm going to sleep here. Maybe it wants me to do that. Hopefully that wasn't a bad decision. Alright. 
I hear? I don't know that I want to help you. <laughs> you don't look well. All right, I'll bite. I'm coming down. You're going to be there still, right? We... Hey, buddy. You okay? All right. I think he was over here. So, he left soul residue. Is that what all those mushrooms are? Were people? And a battery-operated flashlight. Seems to work. Press 3 or F to equip. I don't... I don't think I really need to use this that much if I have the lighter. I know it's only kind of limited, but it is unlimited uh, as far as how long it lasts. Is this always here? This mask? A door. And there seems to be two objects missing. Indeed there are. All right. Well, I don't think I'm going to find them here. So maybe I need to continue on. Let's kind of hug this mountain. Uh, the developer said that there's no hand-holding in a sense that you're probably going to get lost and you just need to wander around. So I guess we're going to do that for a little while, huh? I'm trying to look for like shiny shiny objects. I also need to worry about my sanity apparently. What is this? Another mushroom. Gotcha. I guess that's my next next uh, task. Let's find out where those two missing items are. Hmm. I hear that phone again. This way? Is that a phone? I wondered the same thing. Uh Yeah, there's a phone booth. Okay. Nothing in the phones in the demo. <laughs> okay, that's fair. That's fair. I'm still glad you included it, though. All right. So we have a lantern here. Is this, is this going to be some sort of path? I shouldn't wander here in the demo. What'll happen if I wander over here? Shouldn't wander in the demo. Okay. Well. Interesting. And just like that, I found a cave. Pay six souls. Uh, soul residue to open. I have five. I need one more. It's got to be one more kind of close by. But I need to look for that street light there. I see another light here. Or something. Maybe a mushroom? Yeah, it's a mushroom. Oh, we got a few mushrooms. Hmm. Can I go up now? I can't go up anymore. Water. Interesting. I don't know if I'm supposed to be going this way, but I am now. Uh, and an invisible wall. Come on. All right. You know, this kind of reminds me of, um, oh, what is the name of it? Green Hell or The Forest. I'm sure that comparison will be made a lot whenever this game is uh, played a little bit more. I'm not sure when the demo is released. I just know it's a bit newer. Full game uh, is to be announced. Huh. Okay. 
Did I already come this way? Yeah, definitely did. You know what I haven't tried is how much these mushrooms actually restore my vitality. Because it definitely is going down. Ah. Nope. That's a candle. I thought it was residue. Is this residue? They gathered here to pray, hoping it would help them, but it did not, as they themselves were the prey. That's a nice play in words. Hmm. Nope, another candle. Well, they were definitely right. You're going to feel like you get lost a lot. I mean, I have a general idea of where I am. So far, I only feel like I've just been mushroom hunting. Maybe I should stick kind of on this path here. Let's try that. Because I just need one more residue, and I should be able to open the cave up. I'm way ahead of you, game. Is this a residue, as I say that? Yeah. So... I have a choice to either go for that wisp there or go back to the cave. I think since we're over in this direction, I'll try to go for the wisp, but I need to remember that cave is there. What in the world is this? Uh, it looks like I can go down there, maybe? It wouldn't let me click on it, so... I didn't find a proper hiding place yet. I want to go again. All right, well. Whoa. The hell is that thing? Should I? Yeah, okay. Well, <laughs> so I may use a little bit of that battery there. That's interesting. Uh, should I have my lighter out, maybe? Not that it makes much of a difference, but... Huh. Snakes, okay. When snakes have their trials in the spring, they hold these stones in their mouths. If loaded with snake blood, the stone can give back your strength. Filling the stone consumes soul residue. Press 1 to click uh, to quick heal. Hmm. Feel like I'd rather stick to mushrooms, honestly. Now, hopefully that wisp thing is over this way. Looks like we've got the shell. I was gonna ask what that is. It is the shell. Oh, purple. Oh, and here's a little note. Hopefully I didn't miss any other notes. Uh, let's go ahead and read it. The shell maintenance. The shell has been malfunctioning step that should... Has a malfunctioning step that should be fixed ASAP. In its current state, it is both difficult and unnecessarily dangerous to get up. Other than that, everything seems to be in order, to be honest. There are no new findings regarding the shell since the shake. What is the shake? I have a feeling you want me to go up there. But I'm going to go to my wisp friend here first. Hi. Fresh soul, you have that newborn smell. Get comfy, there's no going back. We're all here for good. Stuck until Limbo has eaten all there is to eat. And we'll be doing nothing but dry strings. Literally. Sorry if I'm being bleak, but... That's just how it is. Okay, well, uh, then, uh, here. Thank you, uh, I suppose. Interesting. Are these steps? Well, I guess let's try to go up. Hmm? 
Nope. I believe I'm stuck there. What is this? Ah, okay. That was, uh, that was that. So. Okay, so. What does this one do? All right. little bit of a puzzle here. All right. Okay. Ah, note. Important. Always remember to lower the first steps after using them. We don't want any creatures getting to the upper controls. I will take that hint. Oh, God. Wow. Four valves. Okay. Um... Wow, okay. Huh. What does that do? No. So that. Interesting. So it looks like I definitely need this first one down. Because that's the first steps there, right? Actually, what did, oh, another note. Okay. I just need to raise enough of them so I can get over. Sorry, all the elevator step is broken. Thanks for fixing things, George. So I rigged one of the other steps to function as a backup. Just use the usual lever to control the platforms and then use the backup here. Let's hope this is only a very temporary solution. Sorry again for the inconvenience. All right. Ah. Wow. All right. Well, that... That takes that up. Which I assume I want to leave it like that. They said creatures can follow, so... Um... Okay. So... So what do I got so far? So far I'm able to get up that far. What? Is that a jump I can make? Maybe? Because it's alternating now. Hmm. Maybe. Whoa. It is not a jump I can make. Got it. All right, well, I'll bring you back down. And uh, let's try this again. So I wonder what putting this thing up further does. So I definitely need that step right there to go up. Ah. Oh. I just need to raise enough of them so I can get over. I am aware of of that. So, um, I can jump there, but I will not be able to make that one. 
So let's uh let's see here. Yes. Aha. Aha. Okay. Oh, come on. Really? Really? I had no idea I would be fighting against a jumping puzzle here. Oh, this is down. Yep. Gotcha. A little bit clunky of controls. I can't say I'm super happy that there's a uh, jumping puzzle in a kind of a psychological horror game. But hey, so let's go ahead and eat a mushroom before I die. Eat. Oh, it raises it up quite a bit. Okay, well, luckily I've got some of those. this do? Okay. Am I missing something here? What am I missing? Like I see how these are lowered now. Is that all I needed to really do here? So I can lift this other one up here? Ah. Okay. Well, uh yeah, let's let's try that. I just gotta be brave. I mean, you just got to be brave. What? <laughs> can I make this? Can I jump in these poles? Yes, I can. Wow. All right. I don't know if I was meant to do that, but I did it. So I hear whispering from inside of there. And we climb. Well, that was different, I guess. Whoa. Well, you surely took your time. Even the fisherman's dog found me faster. Thanks, Elizabeth. I tried. Don't you think this rock is a bit weird? I think it's weird. Yeah, let's go take a look here. Yeah, what is this? Forward, but uh, maybe we should try to go down. I remember hoping so bad that there would be someone inside the shell. I would be in trouble for being somewhere I clearly shouldn't be. But at least I wouldn't be alone. Mm, that's a fair point. Okay. Uh, Assuming this goes down, how do I... How is it that I turn this on? Ah, here we go. Wasn't 
All right. This is definitely starting to feel like the forest. Uh, okay. That was a weird sound. I, okay. Well, let's try this. So, four digit combination. So you mean to tell me I just climbed up here for a four digit combination that I don't have? Huh. Notes, maybe? Documents? A uh, picture of me and my family. Oh, I totally missed that one. Gotcha. A uh, note about a stranger. door I think you're right I don't know what that is but is there... really I just did all that to be welcome by a keypad maybe that's like further on in the game I'm just not there yet all right was exciting in a not so really way okay and I'm out so does that mean I should go try that cave also what did I pick up here oh game saved hmm. is that what that was oh this a way down I think so. It's supposed to be like a shortcut. All right. Well, uh, yeah, we did that. That was that was uh, that was a thing. All right. So. Why did you just make that sound? That was odd. Wow, I'm up high. Jeez. So maybe I need to go over there. Like the other side of the mountain where that cave was. Let's go try to do that. Maybe. Because I don't think I can go over this way. Kind of a drop off there. So I just follow the path back, maybe? Two missing items to the stone door. I almost forgot about that. All right. I wonder where uh, Elizabeth went. Oh, is there something up here? Yes, there was. Soul residue. Gotcha. Whoa. I was in a tree. You're not going to kill me if I fall down, right? Okay. So, where was the cabin in relevance? Uh, maybe I need to drain this of water, I guess, before going any further. So let's let's find the cabin. 
well, let's get a musher. Let's let's restore some uh, restore some health here. Is that? Yeah. So stick with that. Is it up there? Maybe. Ah, I don't remember there being a windmill. Hello. Only those who give in at least a little can see the truth. Okay. Don't know what that means. Ah, yes. Cabin. At least the path up to the cabin. Cabin's, yeah, part of the windmill. So... Still need two things for you. But I remember if I keep going this way, I should come across a cave. over there. Okay. Here we go. Hello, cave. Yes. What? <laughs> okay. Bell. Tiny metal bell. It will keep bears away when wandering in the forest. If you hear the bell ring, something dangerous is close. was not aware there would be that kind of threat. But I will be aware now, because I have a fucking bell. Well, damn. I was expecting something different. Which means I don't really know where to go to get that code. Um, or those two fragments. Missing items. I guess I can save the game here, right? Yeah, maybe I have to figure that out. Um, but so far, this has been the demo to uh, Limbo. Lim limbo? Lento? Um, limbo. Yeah. So, thanks for watching. Maybe there will be a part two of this. I'm not sure yet. You have to let me know what you think. But until then, thank you for watching. Until next time.